In this figure, we have a square and two angles, each measuring 60 degrees. We have to find angle X. So, first we will start by finding as many angles as we can. If each of these angles measures 60 degrees, then this one is also 60 degrees, because together they have to be 180 degrees. Now, in the yellow right triangle, if this angle is 60 degrees, then this one is 30 degrees. And this is because in any triangle, the sum of all three angles has to be 180 degrees. So, 90 plus 60 and plus 30 makes 180. In the orange triangle, this angle is also 30 degrees. And now, in the white triangle, from this vertex, we will draw a perpendicular to the opposite side. Then this triangle is now split into two right triangles. In this right triangle, if this angle is 60 degrees, then this one is 30 degrees. And now, notice that these two right triangles are congruent because they have the same angles and they share the same hypotenuse. Then we can say that this side of the yellow triangle is the same as this side of the white triangle. Now, let's take a look at the green triangle and the smaller white triangle. These two triangles are also congruent because they both have right angles, they both share the hypotenuse, and this side of the white triangle is the same as this side of the green triangle. So, to find each of these acute angles, we will take 90 degrees and we will subtract 30 degrees and another 30 degrees and then we will divide the result by 2. 90 degrees minus twice 30 is 30 and 30 divided by 2 is 15. And now, in this green right triangle, to find angle X, we need to subtract 15 degrees from 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus 15 degrees is 75 degrees. So, we found angle X and it is 75 degrees. I hope you liked this solution and if you have a different method of solving this problem, please share it in the comments. Thank you for watching.